Welcome to Momentous. I am Pastor Rebecca Great, the pastor mission developer for Momentous and the host for our weekly podcast. At Momentous, we believe that God is present with us in each and every single one of our moments. We believe that our stories are connected to God's story and to one another's stories. We believe that this connection and relationship changes our lives and our entire world. Now, before we begin, I invite you to take a deep breath in and to hold it while you count to three and then slowly release that breath. For this summer, we are spending our entire time at Sabbath stops, at times designed for sacred rest, to reconnect with God and with those around us and with creation. Well, summer is a season where almost all of our schedules completely shift from what they are during the school year. And as many of us have traveled over the summer, we are going to intentionally stop just like we would at a rest stop on the road. So grab a snack, grab some water to drink, stretch, and take another deep breath. Now for this week's Sabbath stop, we are going to intentionally stop to ground ourselves. Now, yes, it is still July when this podcast is dropping, but those involved in getting ready for another school year are already preparing for classes to restart for another year. Or maybe you're cramming in one more really fun week of relaxing or one more vacation out of town before that preparing starts. Or you've just had lots of other things happening and you aren't affected by the school year, but would appreciate another opportunity to be grounded and rest and connect with God. Now in a few different episodes, we have engaged in a practice called Lexio Divina, which focuses on a particular verse or a passage or a theme and then invite you to contemplate a series of questions while you listen for how God is speaking to you or speaking with you through those particular words at that particular time. And we will come back to that practice again. But today we are going to learn a new practice, and this one is called the Ignatian Examine. Now this is a practice that was founded by Ignatius of Loyola, who was a Catholic priest and a theologian and also founded a religious order called the Society of Jesus, who are also known as the Jesuits. Now, spiritual practices and spiritual formation, or our relationship with God, was extremely important to Ignatius. So he recorded this series of practices so that they could be used universally. Now, even though Momentus isn't a Catholic ministry, we can still participate in this Christian spiritual practice. The Ignatian examine is typically done at the beginning of your day or at the end of your day. And it really depends on where you happen to have energy and where you might have some free time for Sabbath. So during this episode, we are going to walk through an Ignatian examine practice. Some people are happy to work through this practice solely in their minds, and some will work through this practice with their spouse or their family or a close friend or a small group, and some people prefer to journal their practice so that they can flip back through the pages and notice patterns and trends and how they are noticing God's presence and how they are responding to it. All of these ways of doing this are right. 
You just pick the one that sounds like it resonates with you. So if you'd like to pause this podcast and come back to it when you are able to pay closer attention, you you can do that now. <laughs> if you'd like to listen to the podcast fully and then come back to listen again later, you can do that too. Um, and if you are able to listen now and fully participate and then want to come back and listen to do it again later, you can do that too. So take another deep breath in and settle in for a few seconds and then make a note of three things that you are thankful for from the past day. Now I invite you to pray or focus on the phrase, I'm listening, God, help me notice you. invite you to think back through your day. And if you're doing this practice at night, think about the day you've just lived. If you're doing this practice in the morning, think about the previous day. And make note of any major events or conversations or mistakes and how you felt in those moments. Go through those same moments again and notice were those moments you were drawing closer to God or farther away from God? Were those moments you were drawing others closer to God or farther away from God? Now look ahead to the next day and what you are already planning for it to hold. All the appointments and the meetings and the errands that must be run. And pray for God's presence 
to be with you and for you to notice it through all of those things and whatever surprises also happen. invite you to take another deep breath while we settle in for prayer. A prayer for examining the unexamined. God who knows it all already. We would really prefer to only look backwards to remember the happy things and forwards to anticipate the hopeful things. But both of those aren't fully honest. Help us look at our days in a truthful way, knowing that you already know everything about our days, even the things we didn't notice. Make us notice the heartache and anxiety and remind us of your presence with us. Show us ways to remain connected with you and help others connect with you. Amen. Thank you for joining us for our weekly moment to us. We are looking forward to growing with each of you and are so grateful you are a part of the momentous community. Thank you to our mission partners, the Southern Ohio Synod and the Evangelical Lutheran Church in America. Their financial contributions and prayer have been instrumental in bringing this ministry into existence. We do have one more thank you for this week, and that is again to St. John's Lutheran Church in Zanesville, Ohio. They have called me to preach and lead worship with them again this morning. Now, they will be live streaming their 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time worship service this morning on their Facebook page. And I've direct linked their Facebook page in the transcript for this episode located on our website. Inviting me to supply preach or lead an education event or retreat or simply to be present with you all for worship and to answer questions are all different ways that congregations and ministries can partner with Momentus. If you enjoyed learning a new spiritual practice this week, we hope that you share this episode with someone you know to help them grow in their faith and know that God is present with them too. Now, however it is that you are engaging with uh, Momentous, we hope that it means you are growing in your faith and noticing God's presence with you. You can always Share moments when you notice God's presence by sending us an email or sending us a direct message on our social media accounts or leaving us a voicemail. If you want to support the ministry of Momentus, know that engaging with us online is one way you can do that. If you are able to give financially, you can visit our website and use the donate link there. 
each one-time gift or recurring gift combines together to ensure that the momentous community continues to grow. And we give thanks for every single one of you for being a part of the momentous community and for listening for God's call to try something new and for beginning to notice God's presence even more frequently in your life and in our communities and in our world. Until our next podcast, remember to breathe deeply and that God is present with you every single moment.